Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today we're going to do some basic pond maintenance. Now, if you notice, I'm really close to the camera. It's because we've got about 30 mile an hour winds, and I'm wanting you to be able to hear me. There's actually supposed to be some tornadic storms coming through tonight, so, you know, hoping for the best. In terms of the pond, I love having a fishing pond on the property, but there's a certain amount of maintenance, very minimal, that has to be done to keep it healthy. The most important thing I've found that has transformed our pond is adding an aerator. I've got another video I'll link to where I installed this aerator and I didn't run electricity down here for it. I ran an, a small airline tubing and have it plugged in up by the swimming pool. So that made for an easy install and having that aerator in the pond completely transformed it. We had really thick muck up at the bank where you would sink to your knee and have trouble getting your boot out. And since running that aerator for six months, the muck is about half as deep. We also are using a couple of products that are non-chemical, they're natural kind of additives, mainly enzymes and a non-harmful dye. And those also play a role in the health of your pond. One product is Nature's Pond Water Color Enhancer. Doesn't hurt the fish. We have deer down here every night drinking out of this pond. Doesn't hurt any of your wildlife. It gives the pond a really nice blue tint. And from everything I've read, it also plays a role in maintaining the health of your pond because the dye kind of blocks light from getting down into the bottom of the pond because the problem I've had and some people have is excessive amounts of uh, plant growth. This pond last summer was completely taken over by lily pads. You could not hardly even see the water because the, the lily pads had taken over the whole thing. And I manually removed some of those, I chemically removed some of those, and got a lot of them out and then I still had some and just adding these products has helped get rid of most of the rest of those. Now as we get to spring the water has turned to kind of a green color and I think that's suspended algae and there's also filamentous algae around the outside that's kind of stringy and slimy and these products should get rid of that too. It's kind of natural for those those algae to show up especially in the springtime and a pond has to be balanced between nutrients, sunlight, and plant life. So you need a certain amount of, of organic matter in the pond and you know your fish waste and fish food have to be absorbed by something. So you don't want to necessarily kill everything green in the water but you want to maintain a balance. You can probably see the bubbler right over here. So this section of the pond I dug out and I'm getting ready to turn that peninsula into an island and I've got a bridge right over here that's going to set across there and we're going to put a windmill out in the middle. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and get the dye in there and this wind is so strong I'm going to put all the dye on this end and I think it's going to mix in pretty quickly and by the end of the video you'll be able to see a difference. This is a half acre pond. So one bottle of dye and two bottles of conditioner should do the, do the job. It's, it's the acreage of your pond and the depth that make that difference. Now I'm gonna do two bottles two gallons of this conditioner. This has got your your enzymes and your bacteria and everything that belongs in the pond but might not be there in high enough volume. This is what removes that muck from around the outside. While I wait for that dye to spread, I'll go ahead and tell you about the pump I got. It came from Condor's Water Solutions. It's done a fantastic job to clean up the water, 
with no maintenance for me. Like, I think you have a yearly maintenance you do on it, just basic stuff, maybe clean an air filter. But other than that, it just does its job and makes your pond nicer. I'll go ahead and include some shots here of how I set that up, and I'll have links in the description to the air pump I used and to the treatment products. All right, so the pump that I have here is from Condor's Water Solutions. They have a bunch of different aeration systems that you can choose from. I got the smallest one they make because I have a small pond. And this one's only rated for water up to six foot deep. On the end, I drilled a hole the same size as the airline, which is a half inch. I routed the cord through one of my ventilation holes. I set the aerator on this little plastic bin so that if water does get in the tote, the aerator stays dry. I made drip loops with the cord off of the aerator and with the power cable and then connected them up here so we shouldn't have any problem with water running down that. And then I'll just snap the lid on. That's pretty convenient, easy to move around. So as I mentioned before, this aerator does several different jobs number one obviously it adds oxygen to the water which you know, creates more of a healthy ecosystem for your pond it helps that healthy bacteria thrive as i take a quick walk around the pond you'll see that filamentous algae building up around the bank and it's been spreading a little bit more every day you can also see that the water level is way up I'm gonna walk down the bank of the island here, and when I first dug the pond expansion, this island was at least two foot higher than the water level. And right now it's about as high as it can get. You'll notice I've got blue hands, a little bit messy with it, but this is the third time I've dyed the pond. Wind's blowing over the camera. So within, four hours or so this whole thing will be a nice shade of blue it just takes a little while for it to spread especially since I dumped it all along one side as soon you're gonna see me get a mini excavator out here and dig out the, the remaining section of this and put the bridge across I'll probably put a concrete pier on each side to set the bridge on and then we'll worry about the windmill the last thing I've got planned right now is I've got a grapple not the tractor grapple like I normally use but a pull type grapple that you throw into the pond and drag back up but I can't throw it out to where those lilies are at so I'm gonna have to wade out there for that and it's not quite warm enough for me today to wade into this water so you'll be seeing all that coming up a lot more videos about plans I have for the pond Overall, I'm really happy with the job that aerator has done. It's been maintenance free. It's cleaned up the water. I think it looks really good. I'm happy with the, the expansion that we dug over here. And I think this is going to look really good when we get it set up. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'm going to put links over here to a couple more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.